So today's video is about bags. Camera bags. I, I, I know it's not exciting. It's not the most thrilling thing, but I've done it all. I've gotten everything from these bags. Let's talk about how I started. Peak Design Sling Bag. This is a six liter. I like it a lot. I moved on to the Peak Design 20 liter bag backpack. And I had also got the Peak Design tech bag. And the tech bag has lots of compartments. This is a great bag. 60 bucks. It's 60 bucks. I had, I couldn't fit everything in those bags. And I figured out that I have different equipment. So I went on Amazon and started looking at inexpensive bags, everywhere from six bucks to 15 bucks. And I bought different bags for different purposes. Like this bag. I Okay, let's... So I got this bag. It's full of the pad caster. Let's, let's do that right. This is for teleprompter. I have a teleprompter that I can fit on any camera that uses my iPhone. So I decided, outside of the one unit that puts on it, all of the adapters to put in one bag. And I got this D-Park bag. It's on Amazon, it's cheap. So I put it in that and I filled that. It has these back clips to strap it onto your belt or strap it onto something else. I still have the DJI Osmo Pocket. This was a bag that came with it, which is, which is good because it's a hard shell and it, uh, you can put, I put the adapters and stuff like that in here. I can put my other units in here, which is, works out great. So I kept the Osmo Pocket. I converted, uh, b &H was with some purchases giving away <coughs> a cleaning kit. Well, I converted it to all my cables and chargers for my GH5. It's a hard shell. It's a little bit bigger than say the Osmo Pocket uh, case. It was Sunset. Um, I ended up getting two of the cleaner units and to carry around a whole case for a cleaner unit. I would rather use this for the GH5. I'm tempted to start labeling these. I'm making sure that they really work out. <clears throat> now this bag, Heinz Eagle. You know, I didn't, really wasn't sure what to think, but actually, this bag is one of the better ones because it fully opens up. And I'm keeping all my lighting gear, uh, extra adapters for the lights, uh, tripod mounts. I, you know, I kind of like this bag. It has a front pocket, so you can keep some extra cables in the front pocket. Um, you know, on all the bags I've shown you so far, this one is probably one of the better ones. It's not a hard case, but it doesn't take up a lot of room. It only takes up the amount of room of the stuff inside. The last case I went for was the U-Green. Really inexpensive. Hard shell. Um, I'm keeping all of my stuff for my uh, live streaming, uh, Zoom, I call it live streaming, and live streaming is probably not technically correct how I'm using it. When I use Zoom meetings, I like to use a capture card. I've got a couple of different capture cards that I've purchased. I found a bunch of these that you can buy for 25 bucks or less, and I purchased them as kind of a, an emergency. I use a Pengo. Um, I probably would have used an Elgato, but you can't find them. Um, people had just bought them up. 
I bought some USB 3. So I used this case, the U Green, and it, you know, one of the things that the marketing of the U Green did really well is they made a big deal of the the little carabina hitch to a a uh, peak design bag and I fell for it. It's all just part of the 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 bigger picture of falling for the marketing. But it was inexpensive. It's not a bad bag. So in summary, the inexpensive bags, this D Park is really good. And this one called Heinz Eagle. These two bags, I I, I don't regret purchasing them. The U Green, it's kind of big. And if you're gonna get a big bag, sometimes I wonder if I should have just got two of these. I know I still wouldn't have been able to fit everything in. And that's that's kind of the real problem with, you just get too much stuff. I've got every, everything from, you know, a teleprompter. I've got my kit that I need for my Rodecaster Pro when I'm using pod, doing podcasts. I've got stuff for my GH5. I've got stuff for my Canon M6. I've got all these cables. So if I'm going to Zoom meeting on the road, how do I take my stuff? Most people don't have to worry about this, but I travel. And when I travel, I gotta take my gear. So actually having different bags, I'm hoping, will sink in with me which bag is which, so I just pull out what I need for whatever project I'm doing. I hope this video was at least some helpful in different bags, um, but basically I've gone to organizing my gear, like this is all my Canon M6 stuff that I need, and cables, and you know, my my different microphone accessories. Again, I hope this uh, video was helpful. And uh, see, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.